Hello everyone and welcome back to Lutra FM. I am currently managing Everton in the end of Season 1 where they get relegated. Um, again, just to elaborate what I said in the introduction video yesterday that I posted. The reason why I took over Everton in the first place in the end of Season 1 was there was a file on the Tycoon thread on the Cy Games forums. And basically I downloaded that because it was Everton tycoon takeover but they also get relegated so there's the there's the financial side of things where they basically become the new man city they've got all this money to spend but then there's also the fact that i'm relegated so i've got to get back into the premiership first and also half my squad wanted to leave so just to recap most of what episode one was it there wasn't much done but basically what happened was we cleared out some of the old players that were in the club that didn't want to be there no more so if we look at the transfer history, Beto went to Leon for 10.25 10 million. Idris Guy went for 1.5 to Marseille. Wright McNeil went to Monaco for 4.1. Uh, Vitaly Michaelenko went to Stade Reims for 4 million. Nathan Patterson went to PSG for 7.5 million. So we sold a lot of players to the French League One, which is quite interesting. Um, we saw we sold Calvert Lewin 13 and a half million, James Tower Tarkowski for 11 million to Newcastle, Michael Keane went to Leeds for 1.2 million, Jordan Pickford went to Brighton for 4.8 million, and then we also sold Amadou Anano to Leicester for 13 and a half million. We've also got clauses involved with a lot of these, so if we just check here, Calvert Lewin 20% profit in the next next deal. Um, Dwight McNeil, we get 15% profit on his next sale. 15% of Michael Lenko's next sale, if he does go anywhere. 20% profit made on any sale that Anana goes to. And I can see him going to a big club at some point because he's still very young. Jordan, Nathan Patterson as well, 15%. 20% of Jordan Pickford's next sale. Uh, that's it oh uh, yeah so that's where we are at the moment we just have a look at the transfers let's try our transfers out so we're, we're looking to sell jared brand weight to burnley um he's going on loan if we just look at the deal now it doesn't look like the best deal in the world because he's going on loan and we're only going to get 4.5 million but the reason why I agree to this um, is because we'll get 11 million at the end of it, so it's 15 million altogether, but we also get 40% percentage of the next sale. Now, at the moment, he's rated at 30 million, but I think if I take if I take this off and I'll just do unspecify, is it? Oh, it's still 30 million. But anyway, it was like 40 odd, over 40 million at the end of the first season. But let's say, for instance, he does well at Burnley and he goes to an, a big club. We get 40% of that, so it could work out a very good deal for us in the long run. But we've just got to hope that he gets a big transfer. And then transfers in, because it's very early days. So transfers in, potentially we've got this guy here, Mika Marmo, coming in for 18.5 million. Quite a lot of money for a player. He's only 22. And I think he'll get better, and I think he'll do well for us when, if, if we go back up into the Premiership. Deli Ali, former Everton and Spurs player. I always try and sign him on most of my saves. He's a bit of a good look mascot for me. And then this gentleman here, Christian Shaspendi, the Albanian, uh, an Albanian striker. And he looks pretty good as well. So um, I think there might be some more here. No, these are all coaches and stuff. But yeah. Um, I will be looking at bringing in some of the championship players. I have got a document ready to go, but I'll probably do that next episode. I think I might just get the rest of June out of the way for this episode. And then come July, I might just look at buying some of these players from the championship. There is actually one player I do want to sign, though, before I forget in case he gets sold somewhere else. Uh, actually, there's two players, and they're from the same club. So Hall City, 
got some decent young players. They've got this Jacob Greaves, who will be a future England international, basically. We're going to go for him. And then there was Bessie's gone. Is he injured? The uh, Badashi. Oh, there it's not Badashi, sorry. Philogene, there we go. I think his name's Philogene Badashi, but maybe he's just called Philogene on this one. Another good, good player with a lot of flair, a lot of skills. We're going to go for them. I do need, I do need to prioritise certain positions. Definitely need a right back. Um, let's scout for a right back. Do huh? we'll go right back? We'll do any. No, we'll, we'll do higher than that. We'll do twenty-five. Okay, and we'll just search by value. He'd be an interesting signing from Arsenal. We'll we'll go for him. I think. Um, do need two. We'll also go for. No, I don't think I'll go for him. Go for him. Or Man United youth player. Up these down as best as we can. Oh, there's another player I want to go for. I don't think I'll be able to get him, but then just gone to Sunderland. But I'll, I'll definitely add him to the shortlist. Do that. All right, let's see how them deals go. Don't think Benham will go because he's only just. Oh, Jacob Greaves won't go. Okay, I think he thinks he can do better than that. Same as him. This is not the best of starts. Um, at least we're getting the, the right back position covered. Bellingham is interested. I'm surprised by this. But he will be a very good signing for us. No. We want him in our team. We'll just go through this now. Sometimes I go a bit too quick because I, I, I feel like I'm on autopilot when I'm doing this. Because I just, a lot of the interaction stuff and the inbox stuff I find quite boring. So I just kind of just whiz through it. I'm trying to learn to be a little bit slower so you lot can enjoy it a bit more. Okay, so they wanna they've rejected the original author our, our um director of football put in, so we're just putting improved bid for him. So we've got a JCO also after Deli Ali. Um Through our physios there, a new set piece coach. Spendy is interested in talking to us. I think Spendy is a player that uh, Lelujo had because the name rings a bell. Because he, I think Lelujo had great fun in pronouncing his name, if I remember. I could be wrong. So uh, yeah, this is the bit of the, the boring stuff. Getting this done. Hopefully we'll get to some more exciting stuff like signing players. What I'm probably gonna do is go for every single championship team and look at what their bright young English British players are. We've had an offer for Shivanti. I'm just gonna walk back to 15. No, well you ain't getting enough. Didn't want to sell them anyway. Um We've uh, we've agreed a deal for Yobi Bellingham, which I'm surprised about. I just didn't think we could sign him because he's only just signed for Sunderland. So with that, good player, probably not as good as his brother, but he's still good enough. Definitely good enough to 
play in the Premiership eventually. No, you're not good enough, so we're not signing you. Right, so let's have a look at the Championship then, and we'll see who we can find. Yeah, so certain teams we probably we can go for Southampton players. They didn't get promoted, so we're probably more appealing teams. So we're going to go for Gavin Basunu, who used to play for Man City, very highly rated. We need a new goalkeeper anyway, and I think I know I know we've got a, uh, we've already signed a goalkeeper, but he would definitely be an, of an improvement. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? I'll just accept it. Um, luckily, because you've got because I've got loads of money, it doesn't really matter. Usually I would be scrimping and saving as best as I can, but when you've got a when you've got five hundred million in the bank, it doesn't really matter. We're going for De Samuel Adozi, former Man City player. Um scout him. I don't think we're gonna go for him. I'll scout him as well, but I don't think I'm gonna go for him. Not Shay Adams. Shay, Shay Charles, former Man City youth player, would be a good addition. Decent fee for him as well. How good he is. Okay, so I think that's it when it comes to Southampton squad. Now we'll look at. Ah, uh, that's why all City got promoted through the playoffs. That's why they, them players rejected us. Stoke haven't many players worth going for. I mean, uh, former Villa striker will scout him. Tyrese Campbell's always been pretty good, so I'm going to go for him. Not bad, six and a half million for him. We'll take that. We will pay that. Sorry. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, Joe Hart. Nice to see Joe Hart still playing. All right, so look at West Brom squad. Nobody really standing out. Dead Wallace, maybe because of his is he good at set piece? He's good at crossing. No okay, cap passing. We'll scout him. We won't necessarily sign him because he's 30 years old. But he sorry, but he might be alright for this season. Josh Majar would be definitely a good signing for us. Don't want any uh, pauses, so that's good. We'll scout him because I've got a feeling he's okay. Might not be good enough though. Right, so that's West Brom done. And then we've already bought the best player, but I've always I've always liked Jack Clark when he was at Leeds. He's got a minimum feet. Oh, okay. Just knock that down. There we go. Get him for 12.75 million if he actually comes to us. He's probably a good defender, so we'll scout him. Dan Neal. So good things about him. He got a minimum be released? No, he hasn't. Okay. So 15 million, and we'll see if they accept that. Tempted to definitely, I think I'm going to go for Anthony Patterson as well. Then we'll have three good goalkeepers then, and then and they're all young as well, so we wouldn't need to improve the goalkeeping position for a while. Wanted by no. Bradley Dak, maybe I'll scout him. He's pretty from what I remember, he's pretty good at um set pieces and stuff in real life. Could be wrong on that one. I think that's it. Oh, he'd be pretty good. And Bele. If we can sign him. Um, we'll cancel that because we're taking back on loan. We'll scout him first and we'll see what they say. I think he's pretty good though, from what I remember. Right. Uh, Norwich. Let's have a look at Norwich now. Got him. I remember him being pretty good for me when I managed Norwich a while ago. Give him a scout report as well. He's pretty good, and English as well. Always good. Helps with homegrown 
balls and stuff like that. Sam McCann was pretty good as well, so we'll go for him because we definitely do need left back cover. Fine space, they can raid every single championship team with their best player. And then we'll see how that goes because there'll probably be a mutiny with the squad with all the players that we'll sign, but it'll be fun while it lasts. He's pretty good as well. We spring it. Be a good one for the future. I think that's it on their side. Is Jack Stacy worth? Nice nah, twenty eight. I mean, he he'd be a luxury player, really, in the ch in the championship, wouldn't he? Scout him. Don't need another goalkeeper. We'll leave Angus done. Right, that's Norwich done. Let's have a look at Watford. Watford, you have a good player or two. Him, he'd be pretty good. And scout him. Reese, uh, Reese Healy's there. I remember playing for two. Oh, there you go, Toulouse. Ryan, he'd be good. And, uh, we need some. We need many. As much as we need attacking players, we also need good defenders as well. Which in the championship, as loads of goals conceded in that one. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it when it comes to Watford. Middlesbrough, I don't think they've got anybody worth looking at. No offence, Middlesbrough. I just don't really. I'll always remember you as the team that had the Brazilians in the nineties. I think Cardiff don't really have anybody that I'm interested in. I'll quick look. No. Try Birmingham. Birmingham. Sonich, no. George Paul, maybe. There's a lot of big teams after him, so I think we should just sign him just simply because there's a lot of big teams after him. Gordon James is pretty good. I remember him when I managed Birmingham last year. Tariki Mbele? No. He said they're not worth it. Dion Sanderson, we'll give him a scout. I don't know. has got a pretty good team, to be honest. I don't know how Rooney just, I mean, Rooney's just rubbish than he is a manager. I always thought he'd be good as a coach, not a manager. Oh, Ricky J. Jones. I, thought, I can't believe he's at Birmingham. Did he? Oh, yeah, and he signed from recently. Ricky J. Jones was always a good little striker to sign when you were a lower league team or something. He'd always get a few goals for you. Blackburn's got quite a good few players, to be honest. I mean, I'm amazed they've never been promoted, to be honest. I know their ownership's not the best, but they've managed to get a good young team, mostly from their youth academy. So they'd be definitely... I've already done a youth, acad youth only save with Blackburn, or else I'd do it again. Um, Costello, Costello's good. I mean, I'm a bit biased towards these players because, obviously, I managed Blackburn recently, so I've kind of got a feeling what how good they are. They might not all turn out to be very good, but I know that... Tyrus Dolan, decent. We'll have him as well. Uh, Lewis Travis, maybe? Yeah, I think we've got two minutes. I don't know, actually. Um, yeah, we'll go for him. He's got a perfectionist personality, so that, that made me decide to sign him on that alone. Kate Garrett would be another good one for the future. A lot of, some of these players that we signed from Blackburn we'll just, we're just going to send we'll send out on loan but at least we've got them at the club and we can build the future we can just buy up quite a lot of players and then just loan them out and then maybe make profit on them in the long run see if uh, Scott Walton's as good as his brother Adam uh, we'll scout him we won't necessarily sign him but we'll scout him Harry Leonard we'll scout Harry Leonard as well They've got so many good young players here. It's such a good team to build on. Scout Hayden Carter. Right, we'll leave it, leave it as that. We don't want to completely raid Paul Blackburn. We'll scout him. He was on the Cubs getting in the Man United first team at one point, so we'll probably go for him. Connor Chaplin, Chaplin would be a good signing in the short term. I know he's 27, but he'd definitely be decent. I know everybody's probably already 
turning, turning up on this save because they probably think well, he's going to sign about a million players and the squad's just going to go completely mad. That is probably what's going to happen. We'll soon find out. It'll be an interesting journey one way or another, won't it? And if they don't work out, we just sell them. Zero tolerance for moaning. Player starts moaning, we put him on the transfer list. Matt Grimes. Give him a scout. I don't think I'll sign him because he's 28, but you never know. Same with Jerry Yates. Ellie. Give him a scout as well. Um, sorry about my voice, by the way. It's a bit croaky today. Um, I talked a bit too much when I was streaming yesterday and it's not recovered yet. Actually, he's pretty good, actually. Let me start scouting first, just to be on the safe side. Scout Josh Tyman. I, I might sign Josh Tyman. Is Cullen any good? Probably not. Right, so that's... Hold on. Ando, which... Scout him. He used to play for Peterborough. Mighty Peterborough. Right, so... Them probably won't have many people, many players we want. They just tend to have a lot of loan players that we can't sign. So if I looked at it, no one on there. Coventry probably have a few decent players. They just signed them though, so, but we'll scout them anyway just to be on the safe side. You never know. Alamo Hare is a pretty good player to be honest. He should be playing for a better team than. I mean, I like Coventry, don't get me wrong. Um, I feel like he's, he should be playing in the, in the chat, well, in the Premiership or a better team in the Championship, basically. Scout him, he's only just signed from there. Scout Ellis Sims, former Everton player. Actually, we might bring in Ellis Sims because he's a former Everton youth player, so that'll help with homegrown squad recruiting. Him. Right, so we'll leave Coventry. Let's go. I think Huddersfield's got anybody. No offense to Huddersfield. Actually, he's pretty good. Remember him on a previous save I've had. Scout him. I think he'll be good enough, but we'll scout him. We'll scout him just simply because he's young. Going to join in Huddersfield. Right, I think that's it. When it comes to Huddersfield. What other teams have we got in here? Plymouth? Have Plymouth got anyone worth going for? Paddy Moon was pretty good actually, to be honest. Give him a scout. Lewis Gibson, former... Is he another former Everton player? Another former Everton player from what I remember. He is, so we'll sign him as well, just simply because he's such a homegrown. He's pretty, he's pretty good, to be honest. Scout him. Uh, look. City. He is very good. Tommy Conway, I remember him. A player called Zach Ali, who is pretty good in their youth team, but I might need to in their youth team for him. I'll just have a quick look at the other players. Jason Knight's very good player. Sign him definitely. Um, I think that's it, but I said I think there's Zach Ali, hope he is some not so there he is. Zach Ali, a scout, sign it. One for the future. Oh. Um, okay, let's have a look. QPR, let's see what QPR's got for us. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Wonder what was it? He's pretty good, isn't he? Rangers after him. Can't we get him off? Away from Rangers, maybe.
Ding Rosa. No. If those are premiership clubs, then I probably would look at getting him. Lind Linden Dykes. Tottenham striker be worth. Probably would be a good option on the bench, wouldn't he? Right. I think as we go through these teams, they're all they're relegated. I'm not gonna bother. Right and let's uh go through a few more days before I finish this episode. No, we won't accept that. Alright with that. That's right. No. Figure out where who we want to loan out after we've signed them, not before. Josh Major, Major, bit of a rubbish release clause, really. Jack Clark won't go to us, booker. I like Jack Clark, I remember cheering for him when I went to see Leeds United the once when I lived in Leeds for a bit. Leeds fans absolutely loved Jack Clark, and then he went to Spurs, and he basically disappeared. Well, not disappeared, but he just. Didn't really hear much about him, and then I think he went to Sunderland on loan for a year or two, and they eventually signed him. And he kind of resurrected his career, I think. Very spring it, Porteous, Gordon James from Birmingham. Um, we will send you back, actually. Adam Walton doesn't want to come to us. Franklin Costello does though. Green does. Nolan wants to come as well. All the Blackburn boys other than Orton wants to come back to wants to come to us. Travis as well. Garrett as well. Or Blackburn. We're just gonna absolutely we'll we'll send you back on there to help them out a bit. Kathleen. Josh Tyman. Alan O'Hare. Oh, balls, I went too quickly. That'll teach me. I always go too bloody quickly. Um, try and get back from if I remember. Ellis Sims. Ellis Sims is Polish. Okay. Interesting. Rodoni. We got Lewis Gibson, former Everton player. Tommy Conway. Jason Knight. Zach Alley. Elias Chair. Then Lyndon Dykes, and now we just play the waiting game. What I'm going to do, I think, wait for this to load up. Go through these. We've got other interests in the players. We've signed Ethan Laid. Signers are starting to come in. He's a good player from Leipzig. Yeah, 17, striker. Anthony Lef, Anthony Laird, sorry. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, what we're going to do, is we're going to call this episode to an end on this note, we, we, uh, and then we'll come back tomorrow with another episode, and then hopefully every day from then on, I'll try and keep producing uh, an episode every day for you. So yeah, so thank you for tuning in. Please leave any comments if you've got any feedback, whether it's um, to do with my save or uh, the layout and how I'm doing it. You know, if there's any issues with audio, with the, uh, with the webcam um, or anything like that, please let me know. All the, all the feedback necessary helps. And on that note, I'll leave you to it, but have a nice day. All the best and enjoy your evening.